it's early in the process. I think for any of us to sit back and say, I'm for this person or that person is a little early in my process. So, uh, you know, it, it certainly is something that I haven't taken off the table, but, um, you know, the chances of it happening are probably a little bit slim, but uh, who knows? There's a lot of time left. Here's the thing. It's not that early in the process, and there's actually not a ton of time left. That comment getting a whole lot of attention. Joining us now for more, the former governor of Texas and former secretary of energy, Rick Perry, is with us this morning. Governor, great to see you again. Good to be with you. Thank you. So here we are. I mean, the first debate, August, Milwaukee, we're talking three and a half months. You ran in 2012, got a lot of attention. In 2016, you were one of the early favorites. Are you planning on running for president again in 2024? Well, I don't know about that, but I do disagree that uh, it's too late in the process because the fact of the matter is in 2011, uh, I didn't go in the race until August. But beside the point, here's what I want to get people focused on. We need to have candidates that are really focused on the future. Uh, what's your vision for America? I mean, we need a happy warrior again that's out there talking about uh, morning in America. I mean, yeah, that's Ronald Reagan speak, but that's exactly what this country needs. When I look across the landscape, and too often people are looking back. To, they're talking about things that happened three, four, five years ago. Well, it's fine to talk about what was the record uh, for four or five years ago, but give us what you're going to do in the future. We want to hear a really positive outlook for America, and, and we can. This country can has gone through a lot of incredibly difficult things in its past and had a bright future, and we need to see that again from our candidates. I talked to Tucker Carlson about potentially getting in this race. Uh, we There are some incredibly capable men and women. When I listen to Ramaswamy, and he, he talks about uh, the future, and I like that. That's the type of, uh, you know, President Trump, let's talk about the future. Uh, you know, Governor DeSantis, we need to hear your really bright, capable, thoughtful yeah. uh, vision for America. That's what people are looking for. And I'm going to be engaged in that process. I may be on the sidelines. I may be right here on Newsmax doing it. But I'm telling you, Americans are ready for that uh, uplifting, visionary American leader that can take this country to, uh, to plateaus that we've never even thought we could get to before. And we can do this. That's what America's looking for. Governor, I'd like for you to go a little bit further with me than you did with Jim Acosta a couple days ago on CNN. Because to me right now, it sounds like the fire is still burning in your belly down there in Texas. Well, the fire is burning in my belly in Texas. It's never gone away. And I think the fire is burning in a lot of Americans' bellies right now about having a leader that will give them great hope about the future. And that's what this is really about from my perspective. Uh, I want to see folks looking to the future, telling us exactly what you're going to do. Don't look backwards. Don't be telling us, here's what happened then, here's what I'm... You know, let's get focused on the future. That's okay. the real message here. Have you spoken with Donald Trump about maybe getting into the race? I have not. Okay, because if more candidates get in, the the word is that that's going to help. That'll 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 splinter the vote, and that'll help Donald Trump. Is that part of the arithmetic as you make your decision? Listen, I'm not doing arithmetic on this. I'm doing I'm doing my gut on this. I'm doing what. Uh, America needs. I've been in this process for 35, 40 years. I think I have a fairly good handle on uh, what Americans are looking for out there. Uh, and, and we just need to come together uh, as a party, find that individual that's going to ignite the fire uh, and, frankly, ignite the imagination of the American people and follow in behind them and say, you know what, that's the vision for America. That's what we need. We need someone who can, again, make us really feel good about being a part of a country that is leading the world. We need to have policies in place that truly send the message. So, again, uh, you might be the best version of yourself politically ever uh, right now. Again, I don't think there's a lot of time. August is, is less than four months away, that first debate. You, you want to be on that debate stage if you're going to be a candidate. When do you think you'll have a decision made? I have no idea. In the next couple of weeks, you think? I, no idea means no idea. All right. Well, Governor Perry, come back and see us uh, when, when you are closer to a decision. But to me, like I said, that fire seems like it's still burning in your belly. You want in. Amen. All right. Rick Perry joining us this morning from the state of Texas. Always the politician. We appreciate your time, sir. Good to see you. You're welcome. God bless you.